Hey, do you like playing duos in Fortnite? Well stay tuned, because in this video I'll be showing you some amazing ways to practice, useful tips and strategies you need to think about, as well as a bunch of other resources to help you get more points in the duo cash cups that are happening every day for the next month. Yo, what is up guys, it's Gearsy here, and today I've got some awesome things to release and share with you, but before we start, I would appreciate it if you could drop a like down below to help me get recommended and seen by more people. To begin, I'm excited to announce two new versions of my best maps. Say hello to Realistic 2v2 Simulator and Rugged Rocks Duos. Now trust me, you don't want to skip ahead. The Realistic 2v2 map is easily the quickest and probably most effective way to practice your mid-game duo fights. When you load into the island, you can choose custom teams, allowing you to make sure that your duo partner is with you. Or if you have a full squad, you can use this map to help improve each other's skills and battle it out for fun. If you are a solo or it's just you and your duo, I recommend joining my Discord server, link in description, and heading over to the Looking for Players channel, where you might be able to find a few people or teams to fight. Keep in mind, it doesn't only have to be my server either, there are a bunch of other ones you can use to find players too. Honestly, I should have dedicated an entire video to the realistic 2v2 map because there are so many reasons to play it, but with that said, I also need to show you Rugged Rocks duos. For those of you who have played the solo version of this before, it has the same super fast paced rounds and box fight loot except now you can play it in duos. The teams are set to random so everything works properly when you go to use it in creative fill, because if you have more than 4 people in your lobby, it's still the best place to get a decent amount of players. With that said, both the map codes will be in the description so you can play them after this video. All I ask is that if you find them fun or useful to consider pressing the supporter creator button and using code Gearsy in the item shop. Let me know in the comments if you do, I really appreciate it. Next, we're moving on to the first useful duos tip, which is encouraging your teammate and knowing what to do when you're spectating. The reason it's important is because having a positive mindset during tournaments is the key to success, so when your teammate says something like this, Yo, if we don't get earnings this tourney, I'm about to drop you. It can be quite discouraging, especially if you continue to fight over every little decision. Instead, just say something positive. That was close, you did good. That will help encourage your duo and make them more confident when deciding to go for plays, which is a win-win for everyone. Now when it comes to spectating, if you have unfortunately died and you were trying to help your duo from behind the scenes, knowing what to call out and when to be silent is key. Personally, during fights and any intense situations, it's best to stay quiet and let your duo focus. But things you can say that are quick and really helpful is reminding them that they have certain items and weapons, such as don't forget about your floppers bro, or letting them know that they need to reload. This is because during times like that, you tend to forget basic things, so having someone to remind you in a non-annoying way is really useful. The next skill I want to talk about is understanding new ways to rotate and loot up during early game. As you guys know, with the introduction of agent POIs and spy bots, getting hard to find weapons like heavy snipers, miniguns, and more has become a lot easier. That's why it's good to take a hard look at your chosen landing spot and looting paths so you can find the most efficient and fastest ways to go through them. For this, I highly recommend going to the website lootlake.info and selecting the tunnels option. This will show you where every toilet, dumpster, or hay bale teleporter takes you, allowing you to rotate way quicker. A great example is if you land at Holly Hedges, you can take this dumpster teleporter right to a house filled with agents, allowing for a ton of good loot and a free teleport all the way to Sweaty Sands. Finally, I want to mention something that most of you will know, but it's important to be reminded of either way. In duos, you need to understand each other's playstyle to help make the best decisions. What I mean is if one person plays on keyboard and mouse while the other uses controller, the keyboard and mouse player should do most of the tunneling and building, while the controller player should try and take advantage of aim assist as much as they can, by looking for players to laser on the edge of zone, or shooting people out of the sky while they are launch padding. If you look at almost all of the top duos in the world right now, trust me, you will see what I'm talking about. I'm happy you made it to the end of the video. To prove it, comment which game mode you like the best out of solos, duos, or squads. With that said, don't forget to subscribe as well, because I upload content like this all the time. Anyways, without any further ado, I wish you all a fantastic day, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Peace.